Good day, good day. We have finally made it to one of my dream destinations. Yeah. Where are we right now? We're in Havar, Croatia. So. And oh my, it is beautiful. Oh, sure is. And when we arrived, we arrived at night and then mm -hmm. the following day, it was just like, it was pissing rain. Oh yeah. So this is the first time we're seeing it looking like lovely. And yeah. I have to say it is stunning. We just can't wait to go and explore. Yeah. And you know what's the funny thing? This is meant to be the sunniest island in all of Europe. Yeah. And yesterday was rainy, tomorrow's going to be rainy. But today we have blue sky, so we're just gonna run around like crazy That's and it. show you guys Savar. All day long. Yeah! As you probably already know, we never start sightseeing without a good meal, so the first item on our list was to find some breakfast. This proved to be a little tricky considering we were visiting during the low season, but after a few false starts, we settled down at BB Club for shakshuka, omelets, Nutella crepes, and cappuccinos. So what's really cool about Havar is just the old town, like these old big stone walls. Yeah. And as beautiful as it is just to walk around, it's also strategic because you can escape from the sun. Like we're, we're totally in the shade over here. Yeah, right it really keeps the streets cool as well. Keeps it really cool. Keeps the streets, keeps us cool. And that's always a good thing. And now we're climbing up towards the fortress. Yeah. How many steps do you think we've got to tackle? I don't know, there's a lot though. <laughs> <laughs> I've just had a big It's mouse. a long way up. Bit of a haul to get up there for Sure. With bellies full, we were ready to explore, and our eyes were set on the fortress, which is a focal point when you gaze up from the old town. Reaching the fortress means walking straight uphill, but there are a few scenic stops along the way, including a beautiful park, a seemingly abandoned church, and plenty of lookouts where you can admire the town and the harbor. Well, I'd say we're, what, two-thirds of the way up? Oh man, I really hope so. I sure hope so. And anyways, just on the side of the path here, we've noticed what could potentially be an abandoned church. Ooh, well let's go have and a look-see. It's, it's a little bit off the path, so let's go check it out. Lead the way. All right, Sam the man. So we've made it to the fort. That was a long climb up, but oh, that was good because we sure needed that after that huge brunch. And we got some really nice views of the town. Unbelievable. Like the light wasn't facing in the right direction, but still the views were spectacular. So Mula Matters. Yeah, Mula Matters. So that was 40 kuna each, which yeah. is six US buckaroos. Uh -huh. And yeah, I don't think there's too many other people up here. So no. I haven't heard or seen anyone yet. <laughs> so let's go check it out. So another thing to mention is that there are two fortresses here in Havar. The one that's further away was built by Napoleon apparently, but we're visiting the one that's closest to town. This one is called Spaniola, according to my little brochure. And that's because even though it was built by the Venetians, it was actually designed by Spanish architects. It's called the Zatvor prison. It looks spooky. Lead the way. Down the dungeon we go. It's quite dark. It's dark and these steps are tiny. Tiny, slippery steps. There is a handrail. Yeah, there's a handrail. That's a good thing. Oh my. 
Well, if this is the size of the dungeons, definitely not a place where I would have wanted to be kept as a prisoner. Okay, Sam as a prisoner. That would have been the size of your cell. That's it right there. Tiny That's little it. window. After visiting the fort, we came back to the old town and decided to go on a little walk along the waterfront. We hadn't packed any bathing suits and it was too late in the season to go for a swim, but Audrey was set on testing out the turquoise waters. Here are the rules, guys. Basically, just don't be an idiot. Don't pass out drunk. Don't eat pizza. Oh. Don't parade around town half naked. Don't be rowdy. I feel like those are a, a million and one ways that I could easily get fined. <laughs> Especially the pizza. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There are so many natural pools and swimming areas all along the coast. If we were here in the summer, we could be swimming right there. So Audrey, what are you doing? I'm gonna see how warm the water is in November, first you, week of November. Are you going to assess the water situation? Yes. And? I mean, it's cold, but it's not awful. It's not awful? It's not ice cold. It's not a Canadian lake in the middle of summer. <laughs> um, it would be refreshing. It would be refreshing. But I probably wouldn't go in for a swim, no. Okay. I think in August, this would have been wonderful. You know, end of summer, nice and warm. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we've been showing you guys what a relaxed day in Havara looks like during low season. But obviously, there is a lot more to do in the town and across the island. Yeah, there sure is. So the first thing that you can do during peak season is party because this yeah. island is packed. Our Airbnb host showed us a picture of what it's like and it looks during absolutely summer, bananas. Yeah, it looks insane. Yeah. And like there's actually a lot of bars and yeah. nightclubs on the island. Everything's shut down now, but obviously, you know, it's open during the summer months. Um, aside from that, you can also go island hopping. There's a whole bunch of little islands just off the mainland. Yep. Or actually not the mainland because we're on an island, but smaller islands off <laughs> yeah, of small, the bigger island. Smaller <laughs> islands off of the bigger island. Yeah, you can either do a tour, you can rent a boat. Yeah. You can also rent a bike to explore more of this island like mm -hmm. the, we're just kind of exploring the, the one town, developed area yeah. the town area but there's more to the island yeah and yeah there's just there's there's a ton of things you can do here but we're just kind of showing you what it's like to have a chill day chill day Continuing our wander through Havar town without a particular place or direction in mind, we then came across a medieval Venetian bell tower that we had noticed peeking through the buildings. The bell tower is part of the ruins of the Dominican Monastery and St. Mark's Church, and while the structure is closed off, it's still a cool landmark to visit. Hi, Meow Meows! Hello! Is it friendly? Are you friendly? Come say hello, Meow Meows! Oh, is it friendly? Ooh! Ooh, stretch, yes. I like my massage. And lastly, another thing we recommend doing here in Havar Town is just like wandering around without a map and getting lost. I feel like that's the best way to discover the town. We've come across vineyards, olive groves, ruins, and the quaintest of little lanes, pets. So yeah, it's just a lot of fun to, oh, there's a goat. Oh my gosh, we're gonna say hi to a goat. But see, this is what happens when you wander around without a map, without a plan. Whoa, goats have strange eyes. It's just like a little line. His pupils? It's not a dot, it's a line. Update. It is now 3.30, so we're gonna go eat again. I don't know if this qualifies as lunch or dinner because we had a pretty late breakfast. Um, but yeah, it starts getting dark here at 4.30 p.m. during the winter months, so we may as well eat now. I'm hungry. We went to Kogo, which is located in the main square just footsteps from St. Stephen's Cathedral. They specialize in pizzas and pastas and everything was so tasty. All right, guys, so here we are, all settled in at our favorite restaurant in Havar Town. <laughs> this is Kogo. 
and the food is already here. Oh my. Yeah, the food is fantastic. They, yeah. they basically hooked us up with our first meal when we arrived at night. Yes. And, um, uh, so yeah, we are back here today. I ordered spaghetti carbonara, which is so, so good. Yeah. Sam got himself a pizza. And of course, we can't forget- Four cheese, quattro formaggi. The wine. You I always need some red wine. Salute, cheers. And how's the carbonara? It's good. I've already been eating it, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> yes, you have. Mm. Wonderful. So hungry. We've walked all day. This is great. And Sam, of course, goes for pizza whenever he has the opportunity. It's just so good in Croatia. They make amazing pizzas. Yeah, I know. They, they, seriously they do. rival Italy. They really do. They really do. So I went with the four cheese one here. It's got, formaggi. it's got a bit of everything. And yeah, look Including at that. Including some kind of creamy cheese. Oh man. Yeah. I made a good choice. This is really good. Lastly, to finish up our one day tour of Havar town, we walked back to the marina, this time heading left in the direction of the Franciscan monastery, where we were treated to a magical sunset complete with live music. So we're just walking back to our apartment, and can you hear that? There's someone playing the trumpet on their boat out in the water, that's so cool. The party continues. I don't know if it's part of the wedding celebration that we saw earlier, but there's a party happening out there. 